Daily duties have changed for these Henry Ford Health System employees. Innovation Institute product designer Alex Mosheri typically creates 3D models of hearts. Lately, she's lead seamstress in the mask factory. This is phenomenal. It's kind of cool to be a part of. Makeshift workshops like this could be the key to making sure there's enough face masks and eye protection at Henry Ford Hospitals. The Centers for Disease Control has recognized it may be necessary for healthcare providers to use masks that have never been evaluated or approved, or homemade masks. Innovation Institute CEO Scott Dolchovsky. It's a worldwide shortage. And so we are DIYing it, doing it yourselves. And this was an idea that came out of Allegiance Hospital from their volunteer staff here. And we are just putting it into the Ford production line here. Jersey, elastic, and Velcro from the fabric store make up a mask with a pocket. Material from air filters found at the hardware store goes inside. Staff at Allegiance Hospital shows us the prototype. When filters are needed, new filters are needed, they can be replaced. So this does have some stamina to it. They're moisture wicking, the fabric is moisture wicking. Um, it's a quick dry fabric, it can be bleached. Tongue depressors and plastic make up the homemade eye protection. When we visited, teams from the urology and neurosurgery departments were happy to pick up a needle or scissors and help. Hopefully we don't need them, but if we get to that point where we, we're running a shortage and we don't have them, it'll be nice to know that they're there and that we help with that. For Henry Ford Health System News, I'm Dana Jay.